we're back with 843 TV and I have Shannon Loper here who's the director of the Parks and Recs and to continue our conversation we've been talking so much about what's going on in the community but you have an amazing background story to share with us so let's start there because I think you've been here for a few years correct? Yeah I've been here 23 years um, I started um, working as a volunteer here with the baseball program um, then with the gentleman that was working at the time asked me if I would work part-time. I agreed to work part-time, um, provided that I could set my own hours because I had four boys. And um, then he came back and said, well, is there any way that you would um, work full-time because he was leaving until they could find a replacement. I agreed to work full-time, um, ended up staying. Um, I've had the opportunity and, and it's been great for me in the position that I'm in now that I've had the opportunity to run summer camp, um, to operate centers, um, to um, do athletics. Um, I was transferred to the finance department for a while so I really learned the back end of the whole department and um, you know how the budget and all that worked and um, then came back on as the deputy director and then um, you know a few years after that um, became the director of the park department. Oh my, so. Yeah, what a wonderful story. So you've seen this develop. You have seen this gone from a field into this huge facility? Yeah, so I started, when I started in the recreation, um, my kids actually played soccer on Hilton Head. And um, I came back and said, you know what, we can do this in Bluffton. So um, I convinced my boss and said, let's, let's try our own soccer program. So we started the first year with three teams. Um, and we're up to over 90 teams now in the soccer program. So I've watched it grow. It's been great. Um, the community, of course, is growing leaps and bounds. Um, we're outgrowing a lot of our facilities. We're fixing to develop um, four turf fields at um, Buckwalter, which will help hugely with the soccer program, as well as a big tennis complex out there. This is, a, I mean, I'm just amazing how we are growing and growing. And I, I just love the fact that, you know, you've been part of this from the beginning and I think that's just the authentic and you've seen the, the need for the growth and as we just spoke about earlier as you're growing in, in the community you're also looking at government funding and how you continue to facilitate it's a global conversation it's not just about the teams it's a it's bigger and, it and, is. and congratulations to you for such a successful well, thank you. career you know I've enjoyed it um, I love the kids I love the community um, you know I love doing for the community so that's the plus side of it um, you know, being able to work in each part of the department has helped me to be able to know the department better and understand it better when the employees have issues. So it, it's been fun, you know, like I said, wasn't something that I thought that I would um, set out in life to do, but I have thoroughly enjoyed every bit of it. That's terrific. All right, so getting on to some more if, um things that we need to talk about is, so you're doing a new initiative. What is it called, the program? So policy? we've been in the process of our um, Parks and Rec overall master plan for the county. Master plan, yes. Um, you know, we are now in the survey stages of it. Um, we had a consultant that came out and they went to each part of the county, um, looked at what we had, looked at what we needed. Um, we had community meetings with, with um, people in the community that they were all invited out to. Um, to give their input into things and um, hear what they wanted. Um, a random survey went out to 100 people within the county um, and then they put the survey online. So um, the survey is currently online. We encourage everybody, it is a long survey, but we do encourage everybody to go out. Um, we wanna hear what they want. We wanna know what they want. Um, this Parks and Rec Master Plan is basically your Bible to the um, county council to know what they need to plan for in the future. And it's a very important thing for people to get involved and be part of. It is, it's the blueprint. Yes, it's it is. It's your future blueprint. And so, and so do you go online to do this or is this something in the mail? How they can, um, some of them win the mail, mm -hmm. um, but the rest of them can go online. Um, they can fill out the survey. It's on our website, um, www.bcscrec.com. Um, click on, um, fill it out, and submit it, and get their thoughts and ideas in. There's no way that we're going to know what people want if they don't get involved and, and become part of this. And this initiative, how? what's the tenure? I mean, what's the timeline on this? You're giving it another year of evaluation, and then you'll sort of put something in place for growth? 
So um, the once the surveys are done um, and the consultants finish everything, uh, around October, November, they'll have everything ready to present to council. What do you think the like one of the most urgent needs that we have here at the facility? Um, what I see as an urgent need is we need more facilities, especially south of the Broad. Unfortunately, um, we have nice facilities south of the Broad, but we don't have an abundance of facilities. Um, north of the Broad, we have smaller facilities all over the place, and it's an advantage on that side of it. And one second, when you say north of the Broad, that's that's Buford. That's the, the city Buford of Buford side. area, and south of the Broad is it, here in the Bluffton area. Bluffton and, and, Hilton and, area. And, yes. Okay, that's what I want to make sure. Right, and then, um, but you know, one of the biggest requests that we've had throughout the master plan is pickleball. Um, yeah. In southern Buford County, we have a private. I've, I've been told there's a private pickleball. Um, thing coming out on 170 with over 40 courts. So that'll help in the Southern Beaufort County. Um, but we're looking at developing one um, in our Burton Wells Master Plan in Northern Beaufort County. Well, you know what, there's just so much to do. And so as we close up, I just want to say congratulations to you for your, your time here. I mean, you've seen this thing grow and it's such an important part of our community. Do fill out the surveys that will help them with the blueprints of what we want to do for our community pickleball. And you know what, if you want to set up a team, a dodgeball team, <laughs> I'm in. Who wants to do a team? Yeah, uh, come on out. I, well, I might be afraid of that, but we'll yeah. see what happens. <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> well, Shannon, delightful. Thank you for having me on. Thank the... you for having me. Absolutely. And we want to thank you for joining us. This is 843 TV, where communities come to speak.